हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस टॉपिक इज फ्लाईबैक कन्वर्टर्स एंड फुल ब्रिज चॉपर्स एक्चुअली ये टॉपिक एस एम पी एस से रिलेटेड है दैट इज स्विच मोड पावर सप्लाई आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड वीडियो रिलेटेड टू स्विच मोड पावर सप्लाई इन दैट वीडियो आई हैव कवर्ड द बेसिक ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ एस एम पी एस दैट इज स्विच मोड पावर सप्लाई देन इट्स वर्किंग इट्स बेसिक टाइप्स uh that is uh, step down uh, step up and so on so uh, please do watch that video that video i have i had uploaded uh in the playlist of subject electronic circuits so i will provide the link of that video in this uh, session so before watching this video please do watch that videos because already i have covered all the basics in that video so this present topic is flyback converters and full bridge choppers it is again an extension of smps which we have already studied so this is the diagram of flyback converter in this case vs is the supply voltage that is voltage connected at the input side this is a mosfet which is acting as a switch this is the transformer np indicates number of primary turns ns indicates number of secondary turns v1 is voltage at the primary of transformer v2 is voltage at the secondary of transformer d is the diode c is the capacitor which is used for the storage purpose the value of capacitor is large at the output side we have shown load is connected and across the load v0 is the output voltage now its operation there are two modes mode 1 when mosfet is on keep in mind mosfet here is acting as a switch so it will be switched on or switched off first mode that is mode one mosfet is switched on whenever mosfet which is acting as a switch is switched on that means it will act as a short circuit to directly yahan pe short circuit aa jayega so this will act as a short circuit due to this it will induce voltage in the primary and secondary of the transformer ye maine short mein likha hai primary and secondary of the transformer listen one second whenever the this mosfet is switched on it is acting as a switch and it acts as a short circuit due to which the voltage will be induced in the primary winding as well as secondary winding of a transformer look at the dot conventions ab dekho as far as this dot conventions are concerned aap logo ko detail mein is topic ke liye analysis karne ki zarurat nahi make the thing simple aise yaad rakhna yahan pe dot is is at the lower side so uh, initially due to closing of this switch voltage is induced in the primary as well as secondary of this transformer बट ड्यू टू सच डॉट कन्वेंशन मतलब यहां पर पहले पॉजिटिव होगा यहां पर निगेटिव होगा ड्यू टू दिस डॉट कन्वेंशन ये पॉजिटिव होगा और ये निगेटिव होगा इट इंडिकेट्स दैट दिस डायोड डी इज रिवर्स बायस सो दैट्स वॉट आई हैटर्न डायोड डी इज रिवर्स बायस ये रिवर्स बायस है तो तो दिस विल एक्ट एज अ ओपन सर्किट सो दिस विल बी ओपन सर्किट एंड बट this value of capacitor is large initially capacitor has stored energy whatever energy is that was stored by the capacitor will be delivered to the load so this will happen in mode 1 that means whenever mosfet was on in mode 2 we will switch off this mosfet ye mosfet switch off karenge means it will act as a, a open switch ab dekho इसमें वी आर यूजिंग अ ट्रांसफॉर्मर वी आर यूजिंग ए इंडक्टर वी हैव स्टडीड अर्लियर ऑल्सो द इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द इंडक्टर दैट इज इट स्टोर्स द एनर्जी सो वेन एवर दिस स्विच इज दिस मॉस्पेट इज स्विच ऑफ इट इज एक्टिंग एज अ ओपन स्विच बट ड्यू टू दिस इंडक्टर पोलरिटीज ऑफ वी वन एंड वी टू आर रिवर्स ये पहले केस में यहां पॉजिटिव निगेटिव था अब पोलरिटी रिवर्स हो जाएंगे ये प्लस माइनस ये इंडक्टर का इफेक्ट है ऐसा शॉर्ट में याद रख लो बिकॉज इंडक्टर हैज अर्लियर टूअर्ड द चार्जेस सो ये पोलरिटी पहले प्लस था या फिर माइनस हो जाएगा ये प्लस हो जाएगा कंपेयर टू द अर्लियर केस कंपेयर टू द मोड वन पोलरिटी गेट्स रिवर्स इन मोड टू ड्यू टू इफेक्ट ऑफ इंडक्टर ड्यू टू दिस the diode gets forward bias so simply it acts as a short circuit so switch is open due to inductor polarity of v1 and v2 reverses that i explained d2 gets forward bias ye diode forward bias ho jayega and ideally it acts as a short circuit thus energy is supplied due to this energy is supplied to the capacitor as well as to the load this is the 
working of flyback converter. Now these are the corresponding waveforms. First is transformer primary. अब देखो पहले primary का पहले case में mode one में यहाँ positive था तो ये plus दिखा है ये minus दिखा है. Likewise the cycle repeats. In case of secondary in the in mode one in case of secondary this was negative this was positive तो यहाँ negative दिखा है यहाँ positive दिखा है. Diode current initially uh, this MOSFET was short circuit this diode was reverse bias due to this in in the initial case the in mode 1 the diode current was 0 in mode 2 diode current starts reduced like this and the waveform repeats so this is about the working and related waveforms of flyback converters next part is full bridge converters this is the circuit diagram actually you, this is not at all tough circuit diagram logically aap uh, yaad rakh sakte ho we are using four transistors q1 q2 q3 and q4 and in parallel with each transistor we have used diode d1 d2 d3 and d4 this capacitor c1 is connected at the input side vs is the dc supply connected at the input side this part four transistors and diode act as an inverter which converts this DC into AC supply. Then this AC is applied to the transformer. This indicates at the dot you are getting a positive uh, uh, terminal. So <coughs> we will consider the operation into two modes. Mode 1, Q1 and Q2 are on. Initially both these transistors Q1 and Q2 are simultaneously switched on so this both q1 and q2 these two transistors are simultaneously switched on then entire dc appears across primary jaise maine abhi bataya ye jo circuit hai ye inverter hai it produces dc so q1 and q2 are on due to this look at the connection entire dc will appear across the primary ye jo dot hai yahan pe positive aa jayega yahan pe negative aa jayega this will induce voltage in the secondary in such a way that they could have a positive RI so D5 will be forward bias. this is a center tap D6 will be reverse bias. this circuit is acting as a rectifier output of rectifier is applied to the filter which is composed of L and C2 that is LC filter and then its output is given to the load so during this time period energy is delivered to the load through the upper part of the transformer means through the upper part and through this diode D5, energy will be delivered to the load. These are the corresponding waveforms. We are presently talking about mode 1. So for Q1 and Q2, this is the bias uh, applied for Q1 and Q2. In that case, Q3 and Q4 will be switched off initially. That is in mode 1. So this is the corresponding current through the, uh, transistors Q1 and Q3. Now mode 2. When Q3 and Q4 are on. याद कैसे रखना ये exact opposite है mode one से in mode one we discuss that transistors Q1 and Q2 were on in this case Q3 and Q4 are on so entire DC appears across primary with dot terminal negative पहले के case में dot terminal was positive in this case dot terminal becomes negative it will forward bias it will induce voltage in the secondary and it will forward bias D6 and reverse bias D5 ये जैसे मैंने पता exact opposite है mode one से so D6 will be forward bias, D5 will be reverse bias. Now in this case, energy will be delivered to the load through lower part of the transformer. In the case, energy was delivered through the upper part of the transformer. Important thing is that when all the transistors are switched off, then this diode D7 will be forward bias and through this filter, LC filter, that is filter formed by using inductor and uh, L and capacitor C2, the current will be delivered to the load. Now these are the corresponding waveforms. This is the bias uh, for Q3 and Q4. Observe this diagram. Yaha pe kuch delay apply ki hai between these two points. <coughs> that means between uh, when Q1 and Q2 are on and after some time, after providing delay, we will switch on Q3 and Q4 and these are the corresponding current waveforms of Q3 and Q4. Now the major advantage of this circuit, uh, I mean I mean comparing it with uh, hub bridge converter. In this case, in case of full bridge converter, we are using four power transistors Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. So output is doubled compared to the hub bridge converter and this is the advantage, major advantage. Disadvantage is 
we are supposed to use power transistor so driver circuitry is increased so the total circuit becomes complex so these are the advantages and disadvantages of full bridge converters dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video